We're gonna learn how to fix blown out footage from iPhone HDR footage in Premiere Pro in 2025. So there's multiple ways to do it and it's very annoying because somebody gives you an iPhone file and you put it in Premiere and it looks like this when the original file should look like this. It's a little different and it's because Apple has this weird thing where the footage changes as you watch it and when you put it in Premiere it looks terrible sometimes worse than others. So I'll teach you the way that I see other people do it and a different way that I do myself. You gotta select the clip that you need to fix and go to Lumetri Control. If you don't see it, you can go to Window and find it down here. Once you click that, go in there and instead of being here in Edit, go to Settings. Here in Settings, you're gonna see Preference, Projects, Source Clip, and the most important one, Sequence. Here, you wanna change this from Rec 2100 to Rec 709. You hit that, you hit OK, and now as you can see, the footage is a lot better. However, sometimes you're gonna notice that it's not perfect, and you can kinda like adjust it right here with these two settings. As you can see, you can do max RGB, and it changes a little bit. Or you can use the hue preservation and change it yourself. That's one way to solve this problem. The other way would be, you see the original file, you're gonna go to the folder where you have that file, double click it, and then you're gonna hit file, export as, and whatever resolution you want. In this case, I'm gonna keep it the same as 4K. And I'll just change the name slightly. I don't even have to change the compatibility here. I can keep it like this. Once this is done, we get the file and we drop it into the timeline. As you can see, the color has changed, but it's not perfect. Here you can go ahead and modify it to your liking, but it's a lot better than the original file. You just need a slight adjustments, but it solves that problem where it looks super overexposed. However, as you can tell in this clip, it is a lot simpler to just go here and change this to Rec 709 and that's it. Of course, you can adjust it. So there you have it. That's how you fix blown out footage. It's a simple way to do it. You can also adjust everything and make it look a little better, but that's all you had to do. I have dealt with this myself. So many clients send iPhone footage and you can just simply fix it like that. If you have any questions about editing, feel free to sign up for my school account, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment. I will be happy to help you with any questions you have regarding editing. Once again, thanks for watching and let me know what videos you would like to see in this channel.